Welcome everyone to the Behold I Come channel. This is Julie. I am coming to you tonight on Saturday, September the 2nd of 2017. A couple weeks ago, Father had given me a message regarding the solar eclipse and Hurricane Harvey and how judgment was coming to the nation of America. And he did speak in his word that he would be talking to us very, very soon about some other things that would include the beast system and the mark of the beast. And he told us that he was going to go into more detail so that we could understand that which he has been speaking and the different messages that he has given to us would come together in a way that prayerfully would make more sense to many people that maybe do not have a deeper understanding of where we are in time. And so I did receive this message yesterday and I would like to read it to you and I pray that this particular message because of its intensity would be something that you would go back and read or watch maybe a couple different times. This is so important and it is so important not only for ourselves and our families but for everyone that we feel would have ears to hear what Spirit is saying right now. In His great mercy, Father is warning us. He continues to be so incredibly merciful in His warnings. He has been teaching us and counseling us and letting us know what is coming so that we can be prepared. People ask me often what is the first thing that we need to do to prepare for everything that we're reading about and hearing about. And always, always I will tell you, the most important thing that we can do is be prepared spiritually by staying in His Word every single day, by praying, praying as much as we possibly can and staying in fellowship and communication with Father all the time. And that as we're led, we are to prepare spiritually with our family members, helping them understand what has been revealed to us. And then we can prepare physically as we are able. As I read this message, please, I ask that even before you listen, you would pause and just pray for discerning spirit pray myself now, Father, that everyone listening would have ears to hear, that their spiritual eyes would be wide open, and that your words, Father, through me would reach many, many people, and that many hearts would be open to receive your counsel, your warnings, and your revelation. I pray for your holy and precious blood covering over these words, over me as I read them, and over each and every listener tonight. I pray this in your holy and precious name, Yahushua. Amen. What you are witnessing and what you are experiencing is the beginning of the end of the ways of man. There is an appointed time and season for all to come to pass, and you have now begun the time of the end. It is of the utmost importance that you heed my voice and learn of my instructions, or you will fall prey to the evil one and his manipulative and deceptive schemes. All those made in my image are redeemable, but the wicked one and those who choose to follow him are forever separated from me and will not be permitted to repent or be forgiven for their treachery of the Most High Creator. Your adversary will continue to make war on the saints until his allotted time is over. He hates you because you are made in my image, but he hated me first. In his fury, for thousands of years, he has worked aggressively to amass an army for his own so-called kingdom, as he will attempt to make himself a god before me, 
destroying as many as he can along the way. For those who will not willingly give allegiance to him, he will accuse and petition against an attack. He has planned the greatest deception for mankind, and sadly, many will succumb, as they have not taken my word seriously. Because Satan cannot create beings, he must inhabit them in order to retain control so his plans can be acted upon. This is an understanding you must have for these days upon you, as you are living in the days of Noah. When the fallen angels came down and knew the daughters of men, my pure and untainted bloodline fell under a curse. The Nephilim offspring and strange hybrids that came as a result of evil spirits mixing with flesh was an abomination in my sight. Therefore, I destroyed the earth with a flood. Because of the forbidden knowledge that was presented to mankind, many things that were not possible through manipulative knowledge previously then became known and tangible in this realm. I am speaking of manipulation of DNA and of the flesh that was created in my image. By mingling evil spirits with the blood of the flesh of men and animals, Satan has and is acquiring the host he desires to accomplish his wicked design, which is to ultimately be a god and to kidnap as many of those who are created in my image as he can, so they too will forever be lost to me. Remember, because he is not a creator, he and those with him must find vessels to inhabit. He acquires vessels in several ways. One of the ways is deception to the point where a soul will choose him as their God over me, therefore making an allegiance with this soul that he will never keep in the end. He will use this soul for his purposes, then discard it. Then there is the science and technology, which now has caused man to believe he can create, and I am no longer necessary. He has influenced men to create beings not made in my image, and because of this, they are soulless, as my spirit does not dwell within these beings. These entities are then easily controlled and manipulated to respond to the commands of their programmers. There is evidence everywhere now of this very thing I speak of. Part of the plan to condition you to accept this as your reality is to present this evil as commonplace in your programming and movies, TV and entertainment. All of these plans are directly projected at you on a daily basis, so over time it becomes accepted as modern reality. Conditioning in this manner targets the soul nature, the mind, the intellect, the emotions, and causes you to be continually drawn away from me. As the more you operate from soul nature and not spirit, the more easily deceived you become. You are now in the time when the wicked one is finalizing his great deception. Those who have not learned of me through my word those who cannot discern truth from lies, those who have not fully committed to me, will very soon be forced to make a decision that will mean eternal life or eternal death. As I allow tribulation now and judgments to come upon the lands, many areas will be uninhabitable, and many others will be overtaken by the beast system, and your rights and free will are going to be removed. You must choose now, if you have not already, who you give allegiance to. As destruction falls and resources become unavailable, you will be told to comply as ordered and be governed by this system which ultimately has marked you for destruction. This mark of the beast that is spoken of in my word is what I refer to. It is an implant in the forehead or the right hand that will enable you to go about life in a way similar to what you foreknew. However, this implant is programmable 
and once it enters the flesh of man, will alter the bloodline, just as the evil ones cursed the bloodline in the days of Noah. And you will no longer, at that point, be able to discern my spirit or hear the voice of your Creator. If taken, this implant will control you and cause you to see and hear anything the enemy desires you to experience. My Holy Spirit cannot indwell, at the same time, a vessel that also houses darkness. So do you now see why my words to you have been so urgent and the warnings are so grave in nature? Many do not believe that you now live in this season, but again, the evidence is everywhere. For those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, you will perceive and you will only obey the voice of your King. To those whose hearts are hardened and who continually refuse truth, what more can I say? To ignore my warnings will bring certain death to your souls. I wish that not one would be lost, but I must allow what I am allowing, as all will be fulfilled. Cast down your idols and repent and come to me so I may reveal my spirit and all my heart to you in this hour. I tell you, children, it is only the beginning of the darkest times the world has ever known. The judgments will continue to strike one after another, and confusion and chaos will reign amongst those who do not fear my name. Call upon me in your hour of trial, and I will hear you, and I will deliver you. Come under the shelter of my wings while my indignation passes. Nothing here in the temporal is worth losing for all eternity, your souls. Choose love and life. Choose me this hour, as it will be the darkest before the morning comes. My chosen ones, the time for you to shine like my sun and gather the lost to me has come. Exalt me in this great hour of trial the earth is plunging into. Trust in my design and my purposes. Obey at all cost, and watch and see what I will do through my holy and transformed instruments of righteousness. All of heaven is positioned and at the ready. Hear me, O ye heavens and earth. The Holy One who sits on the throne has spoken. Hearken to my voice, and it shall be well for you. Spoken by God the Father of all creation, and His Son, Yahushua. And so for those of you who have followed the messages for some time, you've seen how Father has taken us on a journey of intimacy always drawing us deeper into his heart. For those of you who are not familiar with the messages, I encourage you to go to the blog at www.iamcallingyounow.blogspot.com and read the messages that Father has given us over the years. It's more important now than ever to pay attention to what is being spoken because we are in that hour of trial. Everything that he has talked about for some time now has become reality today. We've seen that with Hurricane Harvey in Texas last week. And there is more coming. The judgments are going to come quickly now. And we don't have any more time to think that we can be complacent and not pay attention to what has been spoken. So I encourage you to be diligent, to heed the warnings. I realize these messages are becoming increasingly difficult to read and to hear. They are intense and they are powerful and they are not feel-good messages. They are messages that will shake you to your core. But we have to remember that Father 
in his incredible love for his people is giving us a chance to choose especially for those who have not chosen up to this point to choose him and to choose eternal life over eternal death I continue to pray for each and every one of you out there and again thank you for all of your love your prayers and your support for my family and for this ministry Shalom.